Hey y'all, welcome back for another Tech Talk video. Today, we are getting into editing. So I'm gonna show y'all how I edit a basic reel on CapCut on my iPhone. First things first. When you open up CapCut, you want to go ahead and hit New Project. And when you select New Project, you're able to select from videos, photos, you know, that are in your phone. So I'm going ahead and selecting this one video and hitting Add and then that places the video in my timeline. So my first step is typically to cut down the video. So cut out any excess footage, cut out any pauses, any places where I messed up in the video. So I'll go ahead and cut that out. So I'm just gonna hit play. All right, you heard it here first. Stop wasting your money. So like all of this was me trying to figure out what I was gonna say. All right, you hear All right, you heard it here first. Stop wasting your money on this and buy this instead. Okay. So, I know I'm going to use that. Stop. Stop. So, I will tap on the footage in the timeline and then hit split and then I'll tap on that front piece and go ahead and delete that section. So, now we have Stop wasting your money on this and buy this instead. Now, because I planned this out, I will be doing b-roll that'll go on top of that first clip so i went ahead and split it again and here is where i'm trying to figure out how i want that b-roll to look and i think i wind up dropping the batteries in my hand so i'm just scrolling to about where i want that to start i'm gonna delete the footage before that okay it froze Okay, so I'm just going to end that footage where the last battery kind of drops in my hand, split that, and then I'm going to move forward. I did it again, so I guess I could keep both to see which one looks the best. So I just kind of scroll until I get up to the point right before I drop the batteries, again deleting that excess footage in front, and then splitting that again. And then I'm scrolling further because this is the second B-roll footage that I wanted to do. So just chopping this. I think I held it up a little differently after I got some more of the cord. Yep. And the benefit of editing your own content is you know what you recorded, so you know what to look for when you're editing. All right, so I have the B-roll for that footage. Now, before I go and fix all of that, I'm going to continue to go through this entire footage so I can chop it down to what I'm actually going to use. Here's why. If you are using your camera, here's why. If you do sit down videos where video, if you do, do sit Here's why. If, if you do sit down videos where you're not moving your camera around, pretty much anything where you're in, pretty much anything where, pretty, pretty much anything where you're in, pretty. Much, I also look at the way my lips are moving so I can know where to cut like right before I say something. Pretty much any type of video that has your... Like right there, that's before I'm gonna say pretty much so I can cut it. Child, my mama called me, so give me a second. I'm gonna cut through this real quick and then I'll come back. All right, so I went through and made all the cuts for the video. Now it's time to do the little B-roll overlays and stuff that I was talking about. Okay, so once you get all the clips broken down, you wanna take the stuff that you want to go on top of something and you wanna find that clip. So I'm gonna use this first battery clip since it was a little bit closer to the camera 
and then you're going to scroll at the bottom until you see overlay and then you click overlay and then you want to drag that to where you were talking about um the b-roll so let me hit play so i can hear where it starts stop wasting your money on this so i want it to pop up when it's like on this so i'm just clicking it and moving it over a little bit this and by this on this and by this i also want to go ahead and turn the volume on down on that clip so you don't hear the batteries clacking your money on this and by this and okay so i want to shorten this clip just a little bit so it fits within the time frame that i have it going your money on this and by this instead okay so boom now i need to i'm gonna go ahead and delete this second one and then i'm gonna take that other clip that I want to go on top hit overlay make sure I turn the volume, turn the volume down on it and then I'm gonna just shorten this clip move it right next to the other clip and then I'm gonna shorten it on this side and you'll feel like a gentle like haptic touch feel on your phone when you're doing it where it's like clipping to where you have breaks already in the footage so you'll know like if it's lined up or not so let's see if that works stop wasting your money on this and by this instead pretty much any type of content where so i'm not mad at it everywhere where you see these little white rectangles you can add like a transition in between pretty much so instead Pretty much any type of content. So you can add transitions. For this one, I don't think it's that necessary, so I'm just leave it plain. Pretty much any type of content where your camera is gonna be in a. For this, I'm not like centered, so I kind of want to zoom myself in a little bit, and I'm literally just pinching the screen and like put putting myself in the middle. Um. any type of content where your camera is gonna be in a steady position I recommend getting a dummy battery now it was years in the game before I knew what these were and that they even existed and when I tell you it's a game changer I, I lied to you not I changer so I just needed to shorten it I like so it looks more smooth. it's a game changer I lied to you not so I'm going to go ahead and zoom this one in as well. So it still looks kind of centered like the other one. Changer. I lied to you not, I don't buy any extra batteries no more. Anytime I buy a new camera, this is going to be the first thing that I buy. So you literally put the dummy battery into your camera and then you plug it into the wall. So dead batteries are no longer your struggle. When I tell you, get it, I'm not kidding. All you got to do is go on Amazon and type dummy battery next. So this is another part where I wanted to add like some interest so it's not just a straight talking head in the video. So I screen recorded me doing the searching on Amazon. So again, we're going to hit overlay with that and I'm going to drag it down here where I think I'm talking about Amazon. Let's see. I'm not kidding. All you got to do is go on Amazon. Okay. So go on Amazon and type dummy battery next to the name of your camera and if your camera is comp okay and then I have one more that I am gonna put this is the end of that um, screen recording and just hitting overlay making sure the volume is at zero if you screen record it should already not really have audio um, but just in case you can turn that down to zero so now I am just dragging that and then it clicks next to that footage so name of your camera and if your camera is compatible it should pull up some options for you to find a dummy battery that works with your camera when i tell you it's a game changer i'm not lying i might tell you a joke but i'll never tell so to create some like interest visual interest in these shots i like to do like a slow zoom in or zoom out so what you can do is hit this little 
diamond shape kite shape at the beginning of a clip and so you see I'll just hit that at the beginning of the clip and then I scroll down to the end of the clip and I'm a zoom in, pinch and zoom in on this shot so then it automatically adds another um, diamond to the end which is like a uh, what do they call it it's like a tracking tick mark um, so I'm gonna just hit play I might tell you a joke but I'll never tell you a lie baby go get it so you see how it zoomed in like that that's how you get that nice zoom in effect that adds visual interest stop wasting your money on them extra batteries and go get it so I'm gonna do something similar on this last one I'm gonna zoom it in well I'm gonna zoom out on this last one so at the beginning I'm gonna have it zoomed in baby go get it stop wasting your money on them extra batteries and go get it you're welcome okay and then I always delete that cap cut at the end because baby I'm paying for this service so that don't need to be there stop wasting your money on this and buy this instead pretty much any type of content where your camera is gonna so I can do that same visual effect. Now you don't want to do it too, too much where it's like annoying, like, girl, okay, we get it. You know how to zoom in and zoom out. But sometimes you want to just do it subtly. So it could just be visually interesting. So this is what we have. Stop wasting your money on this and buy this instead. Pretty much any type of content where your camera is going to be in a steady position, I recommend getting a dummy battery. Now, it was years in the game before I knew what these were and that they even existed. And when I tell you it's a game changer, I lie to you not, I don't buy any extra batteries no more. Anytime I buy a new camera, this is gonna be the first thing that I buy. I you literally put the dummy battery into your camera and then you plug it into the walls. So dead batteries are no longer your struggle. When I tell you, get it, I'm not kidding. All you gotta do is go on Amazon and type dummy battery next to the name of your camera. And if your camera is compatible, it should pull up some options that works with your camera. When I tell you it's a game changer, I'm not lying. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie, baby, go get it. Stop wasting your money on them extra batteries and go get it. You're welcome. So I think that is a good edit. There's a few other things that I could do to make it more visually interesting. But yeah, that's basically how I do a basic edit on CapCut on my phone. Um, again, like I said, you can add transitions anywhere where it has that little white rectangle. You can add transitions. You could add like audio to this. Typically for these style videos, I just add the instrumental or audio that I want to use through Instagram, um, especially when it's the talk through video and then that allows me to also utilize this footage across other platforms so if I wanted to post it on YouTube shorts then it just has a clean audio of me talking and then I can put one of those platform specific audios under so if I put it on TikTok I can find an audio on TikTok to underlay under my voiceover you can add text you can add captions there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do within CapCut. so make sure you guys subscribe so you do not miss any more tutorials because the tutorials are gonna keep coming next week i will share with you guys how i edit CapCut on my desktop and when i tell you the CapCut desktop editor is that girl she eats down and the desktop app helps you edit so quickly, y'all. I don't know what else to say, but to show y'all next week how I be editing in CapCut on desktop because y'all, I edited 10 short form videos in one day using CapCut desktop. And it wasn't time consuming at all. Like I literally got it done in a few hours and I was so proud. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's upload. And until then, make sure you check out last week's video where I share with you different accessories that you need for your camera because you don't really need a new camera. You just need to accessorize the one that you have. As always, I love y'all and until next week. I'm